Hi guys, what's up? Um, something weird happened. Uh, after I recorded that video, 10 things about heroes in general I hate, sort of thing. Um, suddenly, a guilty conscience appears. And I, I took the video down. And the video's gone, I took it down, I deleted it. I don't even have it anymore. Um, has nothing to do with the fact that Splixen gave me some gold codes to give away during my live stream or anything. No, 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 no. It has not, absolutely nothing to do with that. I took that video down before I even went live. So, you know, I sat there, I watched the video a couple of times. Um, and I, I listened to myself. I actually, for the first time in a long time, this, this is the problem. No one ever seems to understand what their own voice sounds like. They don't. They just don't. And I can prove it because what you can do is you can record something like this on, on Audacity or whatever, which is free. And what you can then do is play it back on an MP3 player and listen to your own voice for the very first time. Instead, because basically what it is, is your eyes automatic. You can actually see, see little medical known facts here for a brief minute. You can actually see your own nose on your face. You can actually see it. It's in your peripheral eyesight. Except for your brain has trained, your eyes have trained and your brain have been trained enough to ignore it. Which is why if you close one eye, you can see your nose. No matter what side. No, no, some of you people are actually doing this going, holy shit, it's right there. Exactly. Yet when you open both your eyes, what disappears. Well, the same thing about your own voice. Your ears get used to the sound of your own voice and start to tune it out. Which is why if you have a twin brother or a twin sister and they start talking, literally you can't hear them because your ears have been naturally tuned by your brain to ignore the sound of your own voice. So if you do have a twin brother or a twin sister and they've been talking to you and you're like, what, sorry, what? And you didn't hear them. It's not your fault. It's not their fault. It's your brain. Your brain naturally tells your ears to turn off. Okay? And that's what I did. I stopped. I forced my ears to listen. I forced my ears to listen to what I was saying, my grievances and everything else. And then I thought to myself, Let's do a little bit of a little bit of googling here. So this is all before I went live. I actually googled Ritu Moto. You know, I'm, and, and I'm gonna do another quick Google form. Ritu Moto, and we can go to their Wikipedia page. Okay, they're in Copenhagen, Denmark. They only have 29 employees. They don't even have 30 people as of 2008, uh, is when this Wikipedia was last updated. So it's a bit out of date. So, do you see what I'm saying, guys? You've got to understand that they really are such a small gaming community, a game development squad group. And I wasn't taking that into account. I wasn't taking any of that into account when I was just spewing my pure hate. So this video is my way of apologizing, okay? To heroes and generals, to Rita Moto, to everyone in that video that I hurt or offended, I apologize. I was tired, I was angry, I, I, there is no excuse. I humbly and deeply apologize, okay? Beyond the words, I'm sorry, I apologize. But, some of the grievances I brought up are legitimate. And that's the weird thing. Even some people who I showed the video to on my Google Plus group and uh, um, my... Uh, uh, um, brain fart. Skype. Thank you, brain. They saw the video... Some of them agreed with the points, some of them disagreed with me on points. Uh, and so ultimately I asked them, should I take the video down? They goes, well, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I, I want to take the video down. So I took the video down, okay? It has nothing to do with what happened with the live stream after, because something that happens after can never affect something that happened before. 
simple logic. So I had already taken the video down before I went live. I went live and something epic happened. I wasn't hosted by Cotton Gamer or B Fine or Old Man Smithers or anything else like that. I genuinely obtained almost 50 followers by myself just playing Heroes and Generals. And it it shocked the hell out of me. I I and then I, I, I during the live stream during the actual live stream I came to some sort of, uh, 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 of epiphany which is it's really hard to explain so I, I, I'm just I'm gonna say it and if it comes out wrong if it offends someone I'm sorry but here it goes when you entertain people your followers are not there for you. You are there for your followers. You are there to entertain them. Get that in your head first fucking foremost. Before I went live, and I believe you can even see me doing it, because I had already hit uh, uh, um, the live button. You see me kiss this rosary. Now, I've already explained to a lot of you guys in the previous vlogs, I am not a religious man, not anymore. Okay. But I still do this because it's my way of paying homage to my father and all of my family who has fallen before me. Okay, My dad wore this, his dad wore this, his great grand... This has been in my family for five generations. Okay, I may have lost my way, I may not have faith in, in fluffy clouds or whatever in me, but ultimately I still do believe in something over myself. Okay. Joe Pesci, Cthulhu, Flying Spaghetti Monster, it doesn't matter. I just believe in something other than myself. I take responsibility for my actions both bad and good. It's that simple. Whenever, when you get drunk and get caught by a cop, you don't say, Jesus made me drunk. No, you don't. Yet when you score a touchdown, it's like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. No, Jesus didn't run the ball. You ran the ball. You threw that three-point shot, not Jesus. You wrestled that bear, not Jesus. You got, you know, you, you know, won that UFC match, not Jesus. Please stop praising something that did nothing. Okay? There is no scientific data. There is no data whatsoever that a person like me believes in. And please stop waving your Bibles at me right now. You're just waving a book of idiocy, okay? Trust me, I was religious until I read the Bible, and then it made me an atheist, okay? Look, anyway, off religion, back on topic. I want to thank everyone uh, who hit the follow button here on YouTube and over on Twitch. You guys are awesome. I greatly appreciate it. Um, apparently, we're working on some of the gold giveaway codes that I got. Some of them aren't working. Some of them are. We're, Splixen and I are working on fixing the problem, so please bear with me. Um, I won't be going live today on Twitch. I'm not live streaming at all today. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of things I have to get done today. Most notably, um, my wife has an appointment at her doctor's, and then tomorrow she's got an MRI. So my stream tomorrow may be a little bit delayed, but I will be streaming tomorrow. I won't be streaming today, unfortunately. Uh, the reason why I'm not going to be streaming today is I literally, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays is my stream days. Okay, guys, Tuesdays is, is a little me time. I will be playing Heroes and Generals later, but I just won't be live streaming. So if you see me online, send me a message. If I've got room in a squad, I'll get you in. You know, it is what it is, guys. But still, just wanted to pop this video up there to uh, apologize to those if I offended anyone. And... Um, Pretty much just, you know, let people know it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, guys, till then, take care. And I'll see you in the next one, my friends.